Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be talking about SB 10 in the Alabama Senate. And Alabama is leading the way in criminalizing transgendering children. Now this is actually pretty innovative. You know, I've written quite a bit about the Equality Act recently. And I, you know, I hadn't done a video on that. So let me just say that I am actually pleasantly optimistic about the chances that the Equality Act will not pass in the U.S. Senate. And the reason why I'm pleasantly optimistic about that, like, you know, I previously thought that, you know, the Democrats had the votes either way. Like, I didn't think the Republicans were going to put up a fight on this. I thought they were going to cave because I know most of them probably believe in transgenderism. Most of conservative media promotes transgenderism. You can see my video on that. However, it appears that the Equality Act is so radioactive that most Republicans will not touch it. In fact, Republicans are more willing, are more willing to vote to impeach Trump than they are to vote for the Equality Act. We learned that when the House passed the Equality Act and only three Republicans supported it. However, do not let the quibbles in Washington, D.C. prevent you from seizing the initiative. And that is what the Alabama senators are doing. The Alabama Vulnerable Child Compassion and Protection Act, also known as SB 10, has passed the Alabama Senate by a 23 to 4 vote along partisan lines. There were three senators from each party that were absent from the vote as opposed to not voting on the issue. And the key points of the bill are as follows. It prohibits medical professionals from transgendering a child. This includes surger, surgical intervention. So, and it even lists several surgeries that are now prohibited, including a panectomy, which is a new word for me, a very frightening word for me, if I dare say. And it also includes medication, medical intervention. So, uh, hormone therapy and along the same lines it also prohibits the uh, prescription of puberty blockers for this outcome however it does provide a an exception and the exception in this bill is based off a medical diagnosis that can be empirically proven so it's not just i feel like a man trapped in a woman's body you actually it actually the bill requires empirical evidence and you know whether it's a chromosomal disorder or something you know uh, gen uh, birth defect or something like that it requires empirical evidence for there to be an exception so that's pretty solid part one or is pretty solid part two is it mandates that schools notify parents of a child's expressed inconsistency with their gender and that prevents situations like I, I can't remember what state it was, but there was a situation where the school system was treating a child as a transgender. They were transgendering a child and keeping it all hidden from the parents. This bill prevents that and prohibits that. And, section, uh, and the third focus of this bill, the third aim, is to establish criminal penalties for the violation of this law. The bill states that it makes a makes the violation of this law a class C felony, which um, other articles that reported on this re noted that this means that it come they said that it comes with up to ten years in prison or a fifteen thousand dollar fine. Now, this is what the bill does not do. It does not seem to provide a grandfather clause, meaning that doctors that are transgendering children will have to cease their current child abuse practices. 
this bill does not address males competing in women's sports, nor does it uh, apply to gendered spaces like bathrooms or locker rooms, so it doesn't really address that issue at all. However, this bill, one can argue, and I would argue that this bill mitigates that issue if schools and doctors are not allowed to transgender children, then logically this should not proliferate the issues involving women's sports or, sh uh, or school locker rooms and bathrooms. So these issues will not be proliferated. So, you know, this bill is the first of its kind and... While I would argue that this bill does not go far enough, it goes further than what any state has done. Any state. This offensive initiative is to be commended. And while the, you know, like I said, the Equality Act is debated and we should not be waiting for that outcome to seize the initiative on this issue to fight this satanic agenda, one that is targeting children because transgenderism is inseparable from pedophilia. That is a fact. That is a historical fact. And I'll certainly want to do more content on that. You know, in states where the Republicans hold a trifecta, that means both of the bicameral legislatures and the governor, in states where they have a trifecta, there is no excuse for, for why this bill cannot be passed in those states. You know, there is no reason why Republicans should not be leading the charge to protect children from those who would groom them for sexual experiments. I maintain my position that Parents and doctors who transgender children should be labeled sex offenders. They should have to register as sex offenders because that is what they're doing. They're turning children into sexual experiments. The Alabama Vulnerable Child Compassion and Protection Act is a welcomed step in the right direction. And I hope to see more of it. I hope to see this bill pass through the Alabama House or Assembly, whatever that's called, and I hope to see their governor sign it. And I hope to see many states follow suit. So my name's Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web. I'm glad to talk about something positive surrounding an issue that is very negative and one that targets and preys on children. Comment below what you think about what I think, what you think about this bill. I will link the text of the bill either in the description in the description and certainly in the article that will correspond with this video. And subscribe to the Evangelical Dark Web YouTube channel to help independent YouTube content creators promote a message that YouTube does not want to promote and also subscribe to evangelicaldarkweb.com. Org. That link in the description also. My name's Ray, like I said, and I will catch you on the next one.